Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today. We're gonna to pick up where we left off, decorating the Sunstreaker Circuit Factory. We are almost there. I did a little bit of messing around in between streams just to get a screenshot for the VOD for YouTube. Uh, that's gonna be out tomorrow, but uh, there's also a, a new VOD on YouTube now. That's from, ye uh, not yesterday, but the day before. I'm like, a, I'm a day behind on YouTube this week. So uh, I had to mess around and I decided to add more color to it. So I think that that's going to be a fun exchange. Uh, we also need to get our quartz in order. We've, we're using a lot of signs, a lot of lights, and we're running low on quartz crystal. So, so those are the top two things we probably have to check out when we get in there. Uh, hello to Cosmic Dancer, Blast Jordan, Sweet Sandy, Dan. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good Friday. How is it Friday already? I feel like I just recorded the Spun Chunks podcast with Johnny on Monday and all of a sudden it's Friday. There was a new snapshot that came out for the pale garden in minecraft for the winter drop there was like amber blocks that were added and amber bricks a whole bunch of cool stuff so we're going to be talking about that obviously on the uh the spawn chunks on monday but we also have a special recording this saturday which is where myself and uh johnny and the patrons will hang out and talk about what they've been building in minecraft and i'm curious if anybody's been building in the snapshot uh because that'll be really really cool Cosmic Dancer subscribed at tier one, 75 months. Holy smokes. 75 months like a piece of furniture, old dusty on an occasion making a worrying creaking noise. <laughs> well played, Cosmic. Uh, thank you very much. 75 months. I have to do math. What's that? That's years. That's 160, 12 six years seven years it's more than seven years that's wild or is it more than six years not quite seven years what's seven times 12. yeah you're just just sure just short of seven years that's ridiculous thank you ever so much i really appreciate it so let's flip over we'll load up the game So yesterday I was messing around with the black concrete and the um, carbon fiber um, bits and I decided that they were better off yellow. Before we do that though, it's dark outside so you're not really going to be able to see much. Uh, in here, I made a couple of little changes. Uh, I am messing around with something new over here. I tied it up the way that this thing was being exported. So I've got some more i guess deliberate designs happening there i'm still not happy with this i really want to try and figure out a way to tidy up this section here it looks good i just need to figure out a way to get these two these two exported in a nicer way and i'm just not quite sure how to do that uh, in a way that works for us we may i don't know we may have to do a little bit of angling here uh this could be moved back but this cannot be and uh that could be moved back so i don't know we may have to do a little something here i could i could maybe add another one here i don't know we'll see i'll have to mess with that later first thing though i want to go outside and i want to get um quartz see what our quartz situation is uh, but yesterday, I was messing around with these side bits. And as you can see, I've changed all the stuff that used to be chrome is now bright yellow. And I think it looks a little bit cooler. We'll see it better in the daylight. In the daylight. Super fast. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. I need to finish this build too. Yes, we are very low on the quartz. Did I do anything here? I think I turned it all into crystal oscillators. Yes, I did. All right, quartz run in the dark. Unless I've got a pink truck out here that's full of quartz, which I might. Oh, did I empty this? Look at that. Who's the smart streamer? Who's the one that took all the things 
that they needed. I'm gonna steal one of these. Uh, oh, I can't do that just yet. There's a patch coming apparently. I was watching the Snoot video and there's a patch coming for Satisfactory. Get more out of our quartz. Saved by the pink, exactly. Leave a little bit in there just for safekeeping. And we've got silica at the other location as well. Sweet. So while that builds up, um, I guess I can put this back in here. I don't know what these other things are doing. Probably nothing. Short on quick wire. And I don't need that making computers anymore. So that is probably good. <clears throat> I'm assuming our aluminum production has probably come to a standstill as well. Are you putting scrap in there? Oh, interesting. Huh. A couple hundred of those. Still lots of those. good there. I'd say we're probably at a box site would be my guess. Yep. Having some funny conversations with the puppy, Sandy. <laughs> you don't chew remote controls. You don't chew computer cords. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine there's a lot of that. All right, that should do us. Are the signs, I think? <clears throat> Pardon me. Are we still doing something here that we should not be? No, I don't need to do that. Um, I think we're okay in here. Everything else is going to be just sunk. I'm not sure quite how to do the, um, the foundations around this thing. I also need to add in some more lights. Uh, what was I doing? I wanted to do the signs. I ran out of steam. I ran out of quartz when I was doing these ones. It 
it's subtle, but what I decided to do was do an orange light at the bottom, a gradient light here, and then three yellow lights or three orange lights at the top. It's hard to see. I think that one might actually be upside down. Yeah, so orange light, orange light to like a reddish, and then the whole thing is reddish. Doesn't really show up very well. <clears throat> it's been an easy thing to repeat, though. Which is good. And I find the colors look a little bit more like Transformers. The yellow. Mind Trip Media with the 100 bits. Thanks very much. Appreciate the work and the lurk. Hope you're having a good day. What I should do is turn on um, Lumen so we can see this in the daytime or in the, sh in the glow. You can sort of see that it's darker at the bottom. If I go into options video. On Snut's video today, it said that the hitbox is coming as a toggle in the menu, which is going to be great buildings. So they, they definitely have a glow to them. I'm not sure if the colors are really true to what is on the sign, but you can sort of tell that that one's darker. It's not as extreme as it is down here. I tried to pick the same color, but this is it looked weird with like the red because this is such a big billboard that the gradient is a lot nicer whereas here if I change this to red 195.7 it like it really goes red and it doesn't look the best So it's really subtle. I'm not sure if you can even see it with Lumen on. <clears throat> Looks like fire, fire spread, yeah. Those feel like they stuck out a lot. I guess they're all like that. I wonder if I should take those all the way down to the bottom. It probably looks better. I was also toying around with the idea of maybe um, having the top parts be orange. Sort of like that, but I couldn't decide, so I've been leaving it. You know, I think I do like that though, that makes sense. Don't exactly know how to handle it here. And I made a mistake over on this side too. Uh, this is meant to be one lower.
I noticed that when I did the screenshot. But that gets most of these built. I think I still have to do the lights on this other one. Yeah. Did I do this side? I did that side. That doesn't have the gradient on it though. And now this looks kind of funny. Yeah, it's, it's weird how sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't. Now, to these ones, I guess it would look make it would make more sense to do it from here too. I really struggled with making these pillars look like they weren't floating. Given you kind of did start again with 1.0, thanks to Devastator crashing, do you feel like you're approaching uh, the game differently? Yeah, it's I'm being less precious with it, that's for sure. I think I would like to bring these into the Devastator save. I think I want to try to combine. The problem is, like, I have to make a choice, because this is all where Metroplex is. So I could keep Metroplex and bring it to Devastator, or I could bring these to Devastator. It's like, it's a complete... I kind of have to choose. Although, I think I like the floating platforms here better than in Devastator. I feel like we could probably do a better train network with those. So, see, there's there's a good angle. See, that looks like a gradient, right? Like orange, orange to yellow, and then yellow. Like it sort of works, but it, it depends on what your angle's like, I think, a lot of the time. The headlamp doesn't help either, but I need it to see what I'm doing. Even in broad daylight, I find that being in the shadow in the game is very dark. Noticing all these little things that I want to fix. So we've managed to keep this looking pretty cool. Those look okay. They're not the best. Not really sure about what to do here. 
I was thinking here it might be better to have it actually attached to a um and a wall. do that or I could do floor holes would also be cool I mean technically I'm kind of faking this but I'm not sure whether that should be... Maybe that should be black. Oh, yeah, that's better. I think that's kind of cool. And do I have maybe like a pattern? Does it have... I don't think I can do the outside. No, it's all just one. But I think that's pretty cool. I toyed around with making it orange, but then it doesn't match the... The detail on the on the floor. Um, I don't know. I that you don't know that I know how to be less precious. That's a fair assessment. I appreciate that. Um, I think the reality of it is just that there's some things I've definitely given myself license to be a little bit more free with. Do I want it to be there? That'd be a little bit higher. Like back by one. Forward by a half nudge. more official and cool, I think. I guess we could color them if we wanted to. Oh, I can't do the belts anymore. That's fine. So I like this. It's a little flush, so I was thinking it would be cool to just bump it back by a bit. And I was thinking maybe two spots would be good. So it should be pretty easy to move around. And it might be fun to actually make it look a little bit thicker. So same as what we've got down there. I love that you can do this. 
Yeah. Had to download and trim my world from Shockbite this morning. Apparently, infinite storage means 80 gigs. Who knew? Oh. Infinite storage has a limit, Loki. I have found in the past that despite frustrations with Shockbite, that um, their customer service uh, can be pretty good. So if you have any issues, I'd say reach out. I went that the wrong way. That's good. That's good. Now from here, I should be able to take this and go from back there into there. And I feel like that that looks pretty supported. I know that these aren't technically being held up by anything. But I don't know that I would want to do that here. Yeah. <clears throat> can't even open a support ticket. It won't link my server to the ticket, so I can't even submit. Oh, that's frustrating. So I like that. I don't... We're not really going to see that part. So I guess that's okay. I also have to think about how I want to uh, hide the power for this. Because this is going to have... I think I'm probably going to put a beam on it. And... I feel like... We'll have to come in... We'll probably have to come in from down here. So I'll probably have to take the power. Man. Because there's no power on the first floor. All the power is on the second floor and above. But we've got... We, we lose the ceiling. And... The power connection from here is way over here. I could probably run it into the wall here. It might be good to actually have it powered off of this thing. This might be an option. Okay, you're never going to see that. Okay, so that's a possibility there. Uh, and what I could do... Is this outside? No, that's inside. Okay. And if I can get that somewhere, somehow, connected, uh, I could also... How do I get that around? There's no real spot to run it along here, unless I wanted to run a beam there, which I don't think I do. Beams connect to walls differently than they do foundations, and it drives me nuts. I don't dislike the beam. I don't think I want to carry power along the beam, though. I wish we could do power cables that wouldn't droop. Uh, Snit was asking about, like, what potential... Um, what potential uh, download DLC players would want. And I'm telling you now, I think I would want some cosmetic downloads. Okay, how am I going to get power all the way the heck over here? I guess we'll have to go under the floor. 
not my favorite. Um, do I just want to go straight down that? No, because that doesn't line up. I don't mind going down this. I feel like going to here would not be that big of a deal. So one thing I did not do is leave myself a lot of room for um, power stuff. I think that's barely noticeable. I could even hide it in another beam. Visible but hidden. I did that upstairs. Maybe I could just hide the whole thing. I don't mind seeing that. Um, I feel like we need to have that. It's kind of a indicator. Plus we've got stuff visible here anyway. So then here would be a good indication of power, so I know what's going on if I run back up here and I grab my little sign. Five meter sign. This helps when you ever come back to things, can't figure out where things are. Cool. Uh, so then we just have to go under the ground. So for this, the easiest thing to do is going to be to change the height of these. And deleting anything of substance? No. Ah, that is an outside thing. Okay. That is a little annoying. I guess here I could do one of these. I guess I don't really need the beam there.
put this back. I guess I could put like a half foundation here, maybe. No power. Where did I not connect you? Oh, that. Yeah, that has to be a full thing. the grid. Oh. It's that one. I feel like they would have the technology to hide power lines. I'll just grab these. Oh, I'm going to have to go underneath to paint them, though. There's not much happening in this back corner, but also I don't know what we could put there outside of maybe we could add a light or something that could be fun. And now we have power over here. That might be a cool idea. So that's gotten rid of all of this stuff, which means I can remove you and you. And I guess we'll just do the same thing over here. We'll just bring it down along here ah this becomes trickier well we'll do the same thing wrong spot. It's the wrong spot. I also need to move this along too. Nope. 
hear me out. You make several panels in that corner in the shape of an Autobot logo. Oh, yeah, we've done that before, too. I, it's the problem is that you have to make them so big. It's a great idea, though. Um, did I do that right? On the other side of the line. Yeah, uh, this has got to go. And then... It's so funny when you start removing the floor and you realize that there's just grass underneath here and you you've been here so long you forget that there's grass and even a couple of iron nodes that we just built right on top of all right so this is going to get replaced I think I removed any stuff there. Now this is really tricky. Uh, oh, the power's over here. What am I doing? Never mind. forgot entirely different problem um okay well this can go back then got the grass sticks up there too So here, we will do probably just a, a beam. Yeah, do I have that image, Cosmic, I wonder? I probably have it handy. What's a good one I can replace? Uh, Devastator? Yeah, let's just get rid of this for a second. Um... Which one is that? Pretty sure it was 2022. Thought it was 2022. Nope, 2021 maybe. It's crazy when you think back. Yeah. So that's an image we had. It's lights. So when you think about like just how big that is, uh, each each um. I think it's two foundations. No, okay, you can see a you can see a wall there on the left hand side. So it's eight meters for the wall. So that Autobot symbol is probably ten meters by twelve meters or something. Like it's massive. It's really really big. So it would be hard to fit in this space.
so we'll do that. And that'll run to a beam down here. I'm pretty sure I can stick these on the ends of stuff. So that wires that under the ground. And then I just have to hide this in the same way we hid the other one. Oh, that's not connected. Where, how do we do that? That we'll have to do a little bit more carefully. Unfortunately, we'll have to have one little cable down here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make that over here. And when you accidentally turn off your sprint key, it is ridiculous how slow you feel. Hmm. Do I want to put a fake node on that just for fun? Also, did that not? Yeah, it did. Droops, though. That's annoying. All right. Well, I guess this is as good as it's going to get. All in all, not awful. Really subtle. Okay. So that takes care of that, which means we've got stuff up here we can delete. But that's powering that. I guess that's still technically 
Well, let's do this here. Why did you lose power? So that was connected upstairs when it should not have been. So I've got something upstairs I need to change. Yeah. So this should go straight into the ceiling. I guess I just didn't hook that up. Right, we have that happening too. As that's outside, I think I can't do that in the ceiling. Right, because it's outside with the, um, would be out there. Which I haven't decided if I'm going to cover that up yet. Could you go with the name of the factory and a billboard? Yes, could do that too. And I've thought about that. I feel like some of the things that I, I don't do often enough in the game is put those, what is going on? Weird flashing. Um, is put those big billboard signs up in places that would make sense. You know? So like, I know what you're saying. You're saying something like, maybe not there. The problem is we don't have any custom, don't really have any custom um, images, right? And then the icon would have to be, I guess, computers. There's nothing that really says, like, Sunstreaker, you know? Yo, Joel! Low-key, this factory hits differently. It's giving main transformer energy. Hot take, but I think it's about to pop off, Bet. Sorry to ruin the vibe, but Cosmic said it's almost break time. That mod be cray cray. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic, uh, for the stream sticker and the 200 bits. That's hilarious. Wow. Uh, <laughs> cray cray. Wow. The kind of things that you can type, but I, you, you, you just can't say out loud, right? Uh, and yes, you're right. It is. It is break time. Uh, what is this? This is a circuit factory. I mean, that's all right. I don't know, you'd have to pay attention to... There'd be, there's probably a lot of tricks that you can do with signs like that. I know you, we could add the background too. We could also do like a gradient background, same as before. 
And so gray and white. I'm not sure why it's gray and white. Vertical gradient. I guess that's not part of the layout. Maybe you have to choose a different layout. Oh, there we go. So this one doesn't have a, see, that one doesn't have a background. I guess we could do this one maybe. It's weird that it's upside down. Like again, I don't know, I don't know why the UI has things backwards, right? And then this, of course, doesn't have the, the same. Yeah, I don't know. I would have to mess around with it for a very long time before I would get what I want. Word Nerdify, hello, hello. Uh, and yes, Cosmic, I'm going to take a break. I just need to, I was going to wait until um, nighttime. I'm just going to wait until nighttime. Okay, so that's good. I feel like this is all good and hooked up and ready to go. We've not done anything to kind of embed this or make it look like it's got any kind of like special guardrails or anything like that. We could We could do something like this. Make it feel like it's more part of the thing. But I don't know that we need to. And of course now, I can't delete that. That's annoying. So yeah, for now, I think we're going to leave those like that. And I guess... <laughs> don't listen to me according to Clap Trap. Yeah. Always, always obey the claptrap, right? But I think the fact that they're powered and clean now is a, is a win. Um, now it's just the output for this one, right? So like the fact that this goes around, this needs to be cleaned up considerably and we need to move the awesome sink. The awesome sink is just too close to the building. And I think as per my stream last time, I think I have to put the awesome sink down here instead of uh, at that end. I think that everything has to go past our storage and then out into the awesome sink. So this is probably going to be the exit to the awesome sink. And then the awesome sink will maybe be here. Probably have to have it as like a, a section, sort of make it look like it's part of the building. I think that's probably gonna, what's going to need to happen. I was hoping to hide it completely. We could just have it out back here too. But I will think about that when I get back. Thought I heard a train. Oh, I did. Don't go anywhere, mad. Don't go away, mad. Perfect. Good timing. Uh, I need to take a break, folks. You get to ride the brake train. I'll be back in five to ten, five to ten minutes, something like that. Uh, just give me a bit, and we will pick up where we left off.
while I think about it, while we're here, I should, uh, I'll get off the train. There we go. I should make some changes out here because we've got quartz in our inventory. We can do the, um, we can do the train stuff. And now that we've got a hover pack, this train stuff becomes way, way easier. So I can add these places now. I feel like that should probably look okay. So we can remove these weird, like, spindly, non-support looking things in favor of the hover pads. And because the train tracks are power, we can use our hover pack to fly all over the place. So this is great. Uh, we can just do little things like this here. Thank you, Cosmic. And then keep this simple. This is all carbon steel. And just put a side on it and we're done. And the customizer is one of the best things I've ever added to the game. I really like it. Then we'll just do the same thing here. platform underneath it. Temporary, but it's at least not ugly. Actually, we probably don't need any of those. Get rid of all that. And this, unfortunately, has no supports. Uh, I guess we'll just do one here. Probably double ramp. Let's 
try this way. There. That's done. And I think there was another rail along here I needed to do as well. Somewhere over this way? Yes. Yeah. Blueprints. That one. There's like four signs in that, so they're a little expensive. And then I feel like this... Just get rid of this. Tightens up this area a little bit. And then we also could have more of these hover pads out this way too. Haven't really done much out here. I think I'll wait and see what we decide to do with this area. Uh, I also lost this connection. Can I do it here? Why is this missing? If I make it a new block, will it work? Yes. Cool. That should connect. Don't see any flashing signs. Good and good. Sweet. And we'll just ride the train back. Good timing. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, Dan. I wanted to see what Sunstreaker looks like from this side, too. We've got a slug. And I'm not sure what that might be over there. Maybe a Mercer Sphere? Maybe. Oh, cool. And thanks for the kind words, Cosmic, uh, that you had in the Claptrap sticker. It is starting to feel a lot more like a cool-looking area now. The other train station is still terrible, but at least this is starting to look good. I don't know about the yellow thing under the window. And we need to do a little bit on the outside here. A little bit of work that needs to be done. There's a lot of mirroring that I have to do. But I want to do this part inside first. All right, so this is going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. And the fact that all of this is stuck is a problem. So we've got circuit boards waiting to go in, but they can't. So we need to uh, have... That's a smart splitter. 
And we also need another smart splitter here. And I need to figure out how... Right, so this line... What's that? That's plastic? Yeah, this is going to get backed up while we do this, I think. Uh, unless I could maybe... Scroll this around. Maybe I can just... Have everything go? What's this program, Daz? Computers in overflow. All right, so if I just take this out here. Human, either you seized up or the camera is frozen again. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it for the 200 bits and the notification that my... I think it's my cam link that keeps on freezing. Sorry about that, folks. Thanks for the heads up. Hopefully it wasn't long. Oh, it's the first time that it's never come back. There we go. Don't know why it does it. So everything is just going over there. Okay. So I don't need that. I don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll leave these two in case we need them. I will need another lane. Ah, right. I remember the problem now. This is in the way. So I have two lanes, and maybe what I should do is really only have the one. Have everything go down the one line. Have everything on a smart splitter, and have everything overflow out the end. That is likely the easiest solution. I was trying to be a little bit fancy, I guess. Yeah, this is just going to all back up for now. That's fine. Because what I want to have is a nice clean end here. I suppose there could be a back door somewhere? Which we could put there, I guess. I uh, don't want that there. So first thing we have to do is get the computers out of here and into another system. So I think we're going to get rid of this. Because right now we already have Computers, plastic, and circuit boards all coming in on one line as overflow. So uh, we don't need a second line here. What we do need is a way for the computers here to join up. And I think we can do that behind the wall here. So all of that's going to come along. Probably go into a wall here. Like that, uh, then maybe we'll do another one on the bottom, and this will cleanly get this out of here. And then maybe we do need a door here, at least for now. Right, 
so this has to get into what will be a center line. So these are in the wrong spot now. This will give us a little bit more room to move it around to. Nope, don't delete that. So now all I have to do is just put in another one of these. Oh, that's not in the right spot. Now we should be able to hook these up, no problem. Smart splitters just snap. And this is plastic. Circuit boards. And computers. That should. Oh, I deleted the whole thing. Now, why did that not connect? That was dumb. Oh, because it's connected to the wrong side. I see. Okay, that's good. That should all cruise along like that. And then overflow gets to the end. And this is where we have to decide where we were going to put this. So I sort of have to figure out what I'm going to do with these, this side of the building. I did not add the same thing over here. I was thinking it would be good to have another stairwell on this side. So technically this would start here. Do I want to go down as well? Oh, I might. I might, I might, I might. It's like up on the outside. Where that other one went. There it is. So that would, of course, limit where we can take that after it gets to overflow, though. That's the hallway. It would be neat if I had a little belt going through there. Remember I said this was kind of plain here? Maybe we could have the overflow coming out there. But then this was meant to be... Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? can't have that there so we'll have to do something else with it I think I'm okay with that at least for now How did I get it up to the next level? Just 
one and then the other way. How did I do that? Oh, because that's covered up. This is missing, and I think this just goes up a second time. No, it twists around. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. about the color. I have to work on it, maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, the way that they do the stairs in this game, it just, it, it really does, you have to make these huge, like, three by three stairwells in order for it to look good, which is a little bit strange to me. I guess we can just... I guess that would be kind of cool to access this. Have this stairwell go into the into the wiring room, maybe? But I think what happened was I have this missing, too. Just another platform here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we could do like a separate stair, maybe. That's not going to work, though, because the door is going to be shutting into the next. I really don't like the way that zoop works. Like, if you don't want to zoop, uh, it's not the end of the world. I would prefer it to not do that, but... So we could have this on the outside, which is what we've had in other places. It's a little on the boring side, but it's also the back of the building. So a couple options. We could have the um, output for the storage come out into this room, or into the here, up there. I just had to change, I think that's centered. 
It should be, yeah. So I just have to change the direction of the output. And then... I'm not sure where, what, what we could do with it. Just to keep it out of the stairwell. Although this feels a little bit funky. Although we could have a wall here and it wouldn't really matter. Um, you can make it pink. Yeah, surprise. This is my shock face. The wind noises that they add when you're hovering over the nothing is uh, appropriately unnerving. We could just have this off to the side here somewhere. So I'm not saying that I don't think I don't want to run it right there. I feel like that would be odd. One, two, three, four. I mean, we just miss it. It does feel a little strange. And uh, then we just take take the output here and run it into wherever we are going to put that, which could be like basically right there. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Give it its own platform. It would move over a bit. Could probably have it be close to in line. I think it would just be a matter of having this drop down to that level and then having the awesome sink lined up like this. Could either have it way over here or I could just have it lined up like that. I feel like that would probably work. You know what that would look like from the front? <laughs> Your shocked face looks a lot like not this crap again face. Well, maybe. I think that adds kind of a cool bit of detail just kind of hovering in the background there. It's just unfortunate it's just a little bit off. But if we put it in the middle... then we can build stuff up around it. So, not super straight, but that's fine. Uh, and then we also have power right here that we could use. We'll make that look tidier. So that solves that problem. The one thing that I was wondering is that we could do... Uh, one, two, three... Oh, that's going to have implications up top if I did that. So what I was thinking about doing was this. Just to have something like happening in this corner.
and then that would put that would put stuff there. So like really not a big deal. I kind of think I like that better because it gets it out of the way of the stairwell. So why don't we try that? And I don't remember, that's a glass ceiling. I don't remember how we did the other side of this. Okay, it goes all the way down except for one. how I stumbled upon doing this with the um, uh, the yellow is that I was it was just easier to see what I was doing but now it's just like it was a kind of a happy accident so oh, I need 